हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द एंड्रॉइड प्रोग्रामिंग सेशन हियर प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद शाहिद अंसारी फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स साइंस एंड कॉमर्स इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी द डाउनलोडिंग एंड द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो हियर आर दी स्टेप्स टू इंस्टॉल एंड डाउनलोड द एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो इन स्टेप वन हियर वी हैव टू डाउनलोड द एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट यूजिंग अ लिंक गिवेन एज दिस यूजिंग दिस लिंक वी कैन डाउनलोड द एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट नाउ वी विल स्विच टू द ब्राउजर just search for the download android studio for windows 10 64 bit latest version it will show just click on the first link now we will redirect to the android developers.android.com/studio this is the website official website of the android here here we have a button download android studio uh, on clicking of this button the downloading of the android studio will start just click on download android studio now it will ask the terms and condition license agreement you just read out the all the instructions all the uh, points are given and i have read and agree with the about terms and condition and start downloading so now it will start the downloading of the android studio it the downloading of this software is totally depends on your internet speed if you have a high speed connection it will downloaded fast otherwise it will download very slowly just wait for the some time it is downloading now you can see here the android android studio is downloaded just click show in folder this is your android studio it is about uh, is 893317 kb then double click on this android studio for installation now we will see the installation of android studio just double click on this android studio it is loading just wait now run now it is uh, please wait while the setup is fetching uh, the required files for your android studio Just minimize all the windows. Now, see. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Now it is loading. It is loading the Android Studio. And see, we have a an Android Studio. Now, next, just click on next. Yes. The Android Studio is previously installed in my uh, device. Therefore, it is asking uh, whether you want to uninstall the previous version or you upgrade your older version to the newer one. This is your welcome screen. Welcome to the Android Studio setup. Now click on Next, then Android Studio, then again Next. Do not create a shortcut. Just leave it install. So now it will start the installation of Android Studio. It takes few minutes for installation of Android Studio. After installation completed, it will show the window like this. These are the uh, components or the features that are installed in your machine. Just click on Next and finish. Start Android Studio. Finish. So now. After clicking on Finish, it will start the Android Studio. Now it will ask uh, whether you want to import the Android Studio settings previously, or you do not want to import the setting. So now we will select Do not import settings, and OK. So it will launch your Android Studio. Now 
it is loading just wait for some time it will show android studio setup setup wizard now in this window just click next whether you want a standard installation type or custom installation type now we will go for standard next now selection of theme select the ui theme whether you want to uh, install the black version of your android or light version black and light so now select uh, light one next you can select either one huh? it is not uh, mandatory to select the lighter you can also go for the uh, dakula next and then next and then accept the this and just accept the license agreement and finish as you can see here it is downloading the components that are required for executing your android application so these are the components that is downloaded from your uh, internet from the, from the internet on your machine after completion of this downloading right, it will launch your android studio see unzipping now it is unzipping the uh, components required components then after unzipping it will install the components and it will start the android studio now all the components are downloaded from the internet you can see the list of the components here and the last one is your x h a x m install successfully that is your hardware accelerated execution manager this is one of the very very important component for executing your android emulator now this will complete the downloading of all the components now click on finish after clicking on finish see it will show the welcome uh, to android studio this is the window now here we will first create a project in this we have to create a project just click on new project now in in this window we have a various options right by default the empty activity is selected now we will go for the empty activity next now there are some information that we have to uh, submit here now name of the activity now suppose the name of the activity is a soft core there is a soft core academy this is my soft core academy app then the package name which is already uh, taken by the system com.example.softcoreacademy this is the path where this project is stored and he, in this uh, in android studio we have a two languages java and kotlin if you want to write a code in java go for java or you can also write the code in kotlin so now we will select java so this in this way you can create a activity in android studio now click on finish now it will create a activity just click on finish then after creation of the activity it will download the gradle from the internet you can see here it is downloading the gradle 7.2 gradle is basically your uh, software or the uh, window which is used to design your android app so we will wait for some time so that it it, it will download the gradle then after creation of the activity it will download the gradle from the internet you can see here it is downloading the gradle 7.2 gradle is basically your uh, software or the uh, window which is used to design your android app so we will wait for some time so that it it, it will download the gradle once the gradle is downloaded successfully it will open the uh, window like this it will open main activity.java in this we have a two files 
activity underscore mean dot xml this is your design file gradle is already uh, downloaded and shown on the screen and we have a main activity the java file which is used to write the event handling code this is your design file and this is your coding file now now we will create a, a android virtual device right? android virtual device is basically used to run your android application on virtual device for that you have to uh, select this uh, the option on the uh, given on the menu bar that is your this option now go to the device manager we have a device manager then within device manager already two uh, virtual devices are created that is your nexus s api 13 and pixel 4 api 28 now, now we will create a new uh, virtual device to create a uh, just click on create device option here we have a now in this we have a list of uh, virtual device options are there we have a pixel 5 pixel 4 a various by default uh, the the hardware and the virtual device configuration selected your pixel 2 uh, you can use a pixel 2 or you can also go for the nexus no. pixel 2 and next now here uh, we have a different uh, types of system images right we have a, a api 32 system image s r q pi the pi one is your uh, very good system image uh, all the applications of android will execute within the pi therefore we will select pi and next now this is the name android virtual device avd name right? and there are two options either you can go for the portrait or you can landscape when you select the landscape it will display the output uh, the mobile like this uh, virtual device like this and portrait the vertical then finish so now it will create your demo see it is creating an android virtual device after creation of your android virtual device you can execute your app on this android virtual device now we can see here the virtual device is created pixel 2 api 28 now we can use this virtual device and we will execute our android application so now we select the uh, latest created uh, that is your pixel 2 api 28 and we will run this is the button which is used to execute your android application just click on run now it will start the execution of your android application see just wait for some time gradle is running see gradle build running it is showing the gradle build running Now, can, now we can see here uh, the android emulator is running see this is your android emulator pixel 2 api 28 now after the execution of the android application you will get the output as hello world in this in this video i have explained you how to install how to download and install the android studio first and second how to download the gradle from the internet and how to create a android virtual device using a avd manager this is very important these all steps are very important all steps have to be performed then only you are able to execute your android